Dear viewers, this is a question from Real Analysis which came in CSIR NET 2019 December session. Uh, this is a question from part B uh, and we are given that we will uh, verify which of the following conditions is true. First of all, let us uh, let us see the cardinal number theory. Let us recapitulate some basic points of the cardinal number theory. Let x be the set of all possible sets two sets a and b are said to be equipotent if there exists a bijective function f from a to b now we define a relation rho on x as a rho b holds if and only if a and b are equipotent then it is easy to check that rho is an equivalence relation on x and hence it partitions x into disjoint equivalence classes say this is an equivalence class where which is a set that consists of all elements b such that a rho b holds that is a and b are equipotent no two equivalence classes or i should write all the elements belonging to a single equivalence class are equipotent and no two elements from two different equivalence classes are equipotent. This equivalence class is called the cardinal number or cardinality of the class that is every element of the class a or mod a have the cardinal number mod a for finite sets the cardinal number is the number of elements of the set 
that is if a contains three elements then mod a which is 3 is the equivalence class which contains all the all the elements that are equipotent to a that is all the sets that contains three elements that is any set of the class a contains three elements and they have cardinal number 3 but for infinite cases we have two choices number 1 countable sets or countably infinite sets that is the sets equipotent to the set of natural numbers and uncountable sets that is the sets equipotent to the set of real numbers we define the cardinal number of n as alif not which is also called the countable cardinal and the cardinal number of r as c which is also called the power of continuum thus any countable set or rather countably infinite set has cardinal number alif not and any uncountable set has cardinal number c let me uh, write down few simple properties of these two special cardinals number 1 alif not is strictly less than c number 2 2 to the power alif not is equals to c number 3 c into c is c number 4 alif not to the power alif not is c number 5 c to the power alif not is c now let us come to this given problem starting with the first option in the first option we are said the set of all functions from q to q for the first option the set of all functions from q to q is denoted by this and it has cardinality is equals to alif not to the power alif not which is c hence this set cannot be countable in fact it is uncountable thus option 1 is false for option 2 the set of all functions from q to 0 1 the set of all functions from q to 0 1 is denoted by and it has cardinality 2 to the power alif not which is again c and it is not countable 
and thus our second option is also false for option 4 the set of all subsets of n the set of all subsets of n that is the power set of n has cardinality 2 to the power aleph naught which is again c and hence it is uncountable 4 is also false now for the third option for the third option we are given that the set of all functions from q to 0 1 which vanish outside a finite set let a be a finite set be a finite set consisting of n elements a1 a2 a n where a1 a2 a n belongs to q and let f be the set of all functions from q to 0 1 which fan vanish outside the set say a all those function from q to 0 1 that vanish outside this arbitrary finite set a that is f belongs to 2 to the power q implies f a i is equals to 1 for all i is equals to 1 2 dot dot n and 0 elsewhere that is f of that is f q is equals to 1 for all q belongs to q minus a now there exists a unique such function thus capital F is a singleton set now if we vary the set a that is we change the values of a1 a2 dot dot a n then we will have different functions for different sets a now a1 a2 dot 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 a n changing the values of a1 a2 a n will give us different functions since these a1 a2 a n are points of the rational number set q and q is countable so this would give countable variance for the set A and hence 
countable number of functions that vanish outside a finite set having n elements since this is true for any set having n elements and we know that countable union of countable sets is countable by varying the value of n over the whole set of natural numbers we get a countable set thus the set that vanishes sorry the set of functions from q to 0 1 that vanishes outside a finite set is countable thus option 3 is the right answer